I'm back. <laughs> so, yep, time to go get the red key card. Which is pretty awesome. Yep, so, yeah. Wow, Lucas. <laughs> it's just a psychopath. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Red key card. Okay, what else is here? There we go, I up and locked it. Can't get the gum powder. Well, I could get rid of that. I've pretty much gotten all the other antique coins I've wanted. Uh, I'm not too positive about that, though. Coin of defense. Now I'll take even less damage. Time to leave. Wow, that molded still didn't die. Ooh, God actually got me to the door. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it sucks, but uh, what can you do? There we go. Notice how the molded didn't spawn this time. Hey, buddy. Remember, those two key cards will get you into the party. Don't be late now. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no. You gotta show up first. You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. So come on, man. Everybody's waiting for you. So as I recall, there should be... Yeah, that guy just decided to spawn. Uh-oh, he's actually alerted to my position. Come on, dang you, you enemy. There we go. There is another one around here. I think it's actually behind the house. The trailer. Wait, behind me? God dang it. There. <laughs> I don't know how many times that bastard's got me. <laughs> Alright. Close the door. Come on. Hello? There we go. Hold on, is there any items? Anything at all? Ooh, clever. So you're coming up here, we actually have to sit down and watch a TV of Lucas basically saying that not everybody wants to turn back the clock. And you can spend all the time sitting in that house or searching in that house for those ingredients but you're not going to find anything You have to watch this to progress to the game too. You know what this is for? You know what you with this? She thinks this thing is special. No, Ian. That ain't special. This this right here is special. <laughs> Evelyn.
We gotta go through him. The old fashioned way. Neil <laughs> just blows up in our face. If that door opens, then like from here on in, there's going to be uh, trip wires and. Uh, Exploding crates like that. <laughs> Such a sadist. Um, you can crouch under that pipe bomb. I mean, not pipe bomb, but that trip wire. Yeah, there's another one there. All right, I'm gonna try to. There, they actually do a lot of damage if you manage to trip one off. All right, like a lot, a lot of damage. So what's over here? Ooh, nothing's over here. Really? All right, but we can avoid this one relatively easily. They're safe in this corner here. There goes shotgun ammo there. And there's actually a repair kit if you haven't found the one you needed to get. There we go. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's just maneuver around it. Yeah, the worst part here is that like if you set off a trip wire, you can actually get comboed and you can you can fall into another one. So yeah, like this crate here. It's actually safe. <laughs> Wait a minute, is there anything around these corners? Nice antique coin. I do know there's a well hidden antique coin around here. Yeah, don't shoot that one. You just leave that one alone. You hey, don't go in there recklessly or you will die. Yeah, there's an antique coin there. Yeah, you get the antique coin and then uh, you blow that one up. And there's a wire there. You just duck under it. There we go. Just blow that up in case you run into it again. So there we go. I'm going to put that in my... Uh, the box. <laughs> Might as well put the ammo there. Alright. Then there's this right here. I think it's different every time. It doesn't really matter. It was one four zero eight. It's gonna be wrong every time. Now you see where Lucas is staring? Staring there. Yeah, if you get caught in that, that's actually death. So make sure you move out of the way. Pretty sure most people got caught by that. Yeah, and then there's the door. Yeah, that crate blows up as I recall, so I wouldn't really recommend opening it up. There's actually a trip wire up here. Duck under it. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill that guy because that guy will spell doom for you. But yeah, it's not over yet though. Hey everybody, it's the Titanic Gamer Dude here. Welcome back to my Let's Play a Resident Evil 7 on a Madhouse difficulty. And on the last episode, we were getting into the courtyard and yeah, Lucas has proven himself to be a sadist. 
all of these traps. And these traps deal a lot of damage to the player. So, if you set one off, you are going to be in a world of hurt. They do so much damage. Alright, shotgun shells, hold on. There we go. Just blow them up before they can actually do any damage. And there goes a cassette tape there. Antique coin, handgun ammo. There's a steroid down here too. So, uh, yeah, steroid is really useful. That one blows up too. So I wouldn't advise opening it up. Yep, there's a mold that's just hiding there in that direction. So I'm in caution, I'll just use the steroid. There we go. Max health increased. There we go. There we go. <laughs> just get rid of both of them. Yeah, pretty much the four legged molded are pretty much um Resident Evil 7's equivalent to uh to uh, the hunters from the other Resident Evil games, except these ones are much more frail. The words like if you see a hunter, it's advised to use the strongest weapon you have to do the dispatch of it. All right. Yeah, so there's a lockbox there. Going to deposit this for a little bit. What's actually in here? I'll actually save and look what's in there. Before I actually go opening things, I don't know what's in. Before I actually go opening things, I don't know what's in them. So, uh, yeah, of course I need a cassette tape. I have cassette tape. So for now, I'll put the D-Series arm in there. We don't actually need it right, right now. Um... Wait just a minute. Yeah. I'll um Yeah, I'll combine it with uh wait a minute. Did I just put it back in the Okay, I did. Combine, there we go. Okay, I only have three cassette tapes. Okay, let's have my burner fuel, there it is, let me save, yep, 2 hours 33 minutes, put that away, what's actually in this lockbox? Oh wow, that's actually really good. Hold on. Those flame rounds at. Oh, that's right. They're in my inventory. That's a really good drop. I'm going to also switch your weapon to just lower the amount of reload time you have, which is actually advisable. Just put the M over here. I can get access to my herbs quickly. Alright, coming up, there's going to be, like, a fight in which you have to dispatch of two fat molded. And, uh, yeah, fat molded are quite durable. And, uh, they can wreck your face really fast. Yeah, but fires, thankfully fires fairly effective on them and yeah they primarily attack by trying to charge at you when you're at a distance and or spewing this acid that can stun you and it does a lot of damage so uh, you want to be very careful
and cautious. All right, so uh, there it goes the separating agent. Why would you want to use the separating agent at this point in the game? I really wouldn't say at this point in the game, but like, why would you want to use it right now? Like, there's <laughs> should be pretty decent on ammo if you ask me. I'm trying to blow us up, I'm trying to open up without getting hit. You know, sustaining damage. Yep, there's the battery. Ooh, shotgun shells, not bad. I'm just gonna blow that up, because that's a hazard. I go supplements. Uh, can actually combine supplements, I think, with um, strong chem fluid to make neuro rounds, which are really good. But um, I'm not really... I always found neuro rounds kind of pointless, actually. It always just blows up in your face. So thankfully, you can actually evade the molded acid. The acid, the molded spits at you by, um... Let me go here. You can actually avoid it, avoid it if you, uh, crouch upon an object. See, like, there's the acid, right? There's that signature acid. But yeah, since they're fairly slow, oh, I didn't block it, so uh, yeah. Oh wow, it's right here. Uh oh, not good. This is not good. Like, this is really not good. This is, like, really bad. <laughs> wow, it just comboed me. All right. Okay, thanks for the defense coin in the, uh... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's a spoo the acid everywhere. Uh oh. Not good. <laughs> oh, no you don't. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, the acid blood, too, from the molded. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm almost, like, dead. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, God dang it. Oh, God. Oh, I die. <laughs> it's bound to happen sometime or another. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, like this part, comment, like, favorite, subscribe. I'll see you all later. Peace out.